So this is the wrap up from the fourth annual Wilson Challenge that we completed last Saturday. We had nine awesome teams. It was the deepest field we've had. It was the tightest scoring tournament we've had so far. Uh, it's a three-man tournament. You get to substitute in if you want after you play three games. So it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of variations between the opponents. So the Fuzzy Ballers got a lot of great double experience doubles experience this past weekend. Um, they ran into a lot of tough competition. They finished in ninth place. Beauty and the Beast finished, finished in eighth place. Nudging out Beauty and the Beast were the freshmen. We got three local studs that played for Walton High School. They did a really good job. They started out kind of slow and like one of their mothers said to me, it was a lot like life. You know, things weren't going well. They got mad. They got angry. They got frustrated. Then they bounced back and they, they showed their talent and uh, they're going to do some great things coming up next year's Wilson Challenge. They're already entered by the way. Uh, Cobb Hitman finished in sixth place. They had 33 points. Preparation HD, although they lost to the freshmen, they nudged them in points. They had 36 points. Triple D, a bunch of rookies. They did really well. They finished in fourth place with 38 points. The Deuce Bags. I thought they might take the title this year. They finished in third place with 42 points. Now the interesting thing about second and first, we tied this year. Both teams won 47 games, but the second tiebreaker was number of games lost. So the whole weekend, you got points if you won games. And we tallied it up. If you lost points, that counted against you. So the final score, second place Hall of Framers had 47 points and they lost 22. First place, Full Metal Rackets, the champions. They had 47 and only lost 21. So the difference of one game over eight matches, that was the deciding factor. Um, I mentioned in one of the videos that Erin Einan, Beauty and the Beast, obviously the beauty, if you looked at her partners, you know what I'm saying. Uh, sorry, fellas. Uh, she was the second woman in the history of the Wilson Challenge. The first was Kendall Wilde. Not in the first year. She played on Team Harambe. Um, if you remember Whitney Houston's National Anthem Super Bowl back in 1991, one of the greatest National Anthems I think I've ever heard, we started the day off with that. I had it cranked out in the speakers, and it was really special. I looked out, and no matter where anybody was on the court, they had their hat off, their hand on their heart. It was, it was a really nice two minutes and 43 seconds. There was also an epic tiebreaker in the pro exhibition. You might want to talk to Dr. Adam Schaffern and Mr. Chris King to get the details about that. Uh, it was super hot, never heard one complaint. We had no injuries, everybody did well. I think we went through uh, 147 bottles of Gatorade and 220 bottles of water. So Wilson Challenge 2019, that's a wrap. We'll see you next year.